Hello and welcome to the second round of the uh, WRC World Championship 2002. <coughs> As you can see, we're not... What is that? Where's it coming from? Hang on, hold on. Oh, it's one of those key finder things that just goes off at random and doesn't actually work. I'll get rid of that. Right. As you might be able to see, we're not actually in Sweden. That's because apparently after finishing Monaco, I didn't save. I couldn't figure out how to save. And this is back in the days before autosave was invented apparently. So basically the rally Monaco is gone. So I'm going to have to re I'll redo that. I'll catch up. Don't worry. We'll sort it out. For now, I've completely run out of time to go back and do Monaco again. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a custom championship and just do Sweden. And then uh, that will count as Sweden. And then I'll, um, I'll go back through and um, I'll, I'll race Monaco and Sweden again before we go to the third round. So, I can't even remember what I was driving, the Subaru? Yeah, Subaru. But it doesn't matter who I am. Um, rally has so far only been won by Scandinavians. Temperatures dropped to minus 30, and even with the WRC car's four-wheel drive, studded tyres are needed to cope with the lack of grip. Some stages are even held on frozen lakes. But despite all this, Sweden is still one of the fastest rallies in the whole World Championship. Now the other thing you might notice about I think I think I've got a block notice, I'm not actually sure. <laughs> Kinda sounds like I do. Anyway, that's not that's not that's not important. What does matter is you might be thinking, well, the Rally Sweden isn't till later on this week. What are you doing? As 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 you may know, I'm operating off of the uh, two thousand and two calendar and in two thousand and two the Rally Sweden was actually last week, by my um, admittedly poor calculations. I don't know, I'm around the time of the Rally Sweden, so it, I guess it... As long as we do the Rally, I'm not sure, I'm not sure it matters. It's not like Rally is about time or anything. So I've got to remember to... Well, no, I don't, don't have to save this one. But when I play it for myself, I've got to remember to save. You know, this is a Rally Sweden. It's going to be very hard because there's no grip whatsoever. Also, my controller is probably going to be making that noise for the entire time. Are we number 19? I can't actually tell. It's either that or 10. Probably easier to tell in the video. 10, I think. Yep. Now, the other thing that makes this rally difficult is I actually can't really see the track. I know when I hit the snow banks because the car like goes up at an angle, but until then, it's a fair bit of guesswork as to trying to figure out where I'm going. I mean, it's just white. So, let's... I guess that's part of the struggle. I don't think the Rally Sweden gets easier in like more modern racing games anyway, because they just make the track really narrow. So like, it's it, you can choose between being able to not see the track but having room to breathe, or being able to see the track but no room to breathe. So, you'll probably struggle more on one where the uh, road is just about wide enough for your car. I'll take, I'll take out that timing board. That's what you're supposed to do in rallies, right? Okay, now we can now we can see the road. Yeah, 
going to try and avoid hitting any roadside rocks. That'd probably be uh, something to avoid if possible. Jesus Christ, my controller is vibrating a lot. But it's not disconnecting. So, I guess somehow that's an improvement. Which is weird, because I was playing R semicolon racing uh, yesterday. Which is uh, a game that I bought from CEX. I've been buying a bunch of PS2 games, and I just found out they sell original Xbox games as well, so I bought one or two of those. Um, that I could play at some point. I got um, MX vs ATV Unleashed for the original Xbox, which is fantastic. Apart from the planes, which suck. And um, Conflict Desert Storm, which I haven't played yet, but allegedly is good for with the PC. I don't know what the console port is going to be like. And I got Rally Sport Challenge, uh, the original, which was pretty fun until my Xbox decided that its disc was scratched, so now it won't play. So I've got to take it back, which I'm going to do later on after I finish recording this. The thing about our racing is, is uh, the driving uh, it's kind of sucks actually. Like the game handles really bad. So I, I don't know why it's so like I, I was finding it so addictive to play, like and just keep on playing. I've been buying too many games to actually uh, let's play. Oh, Christ! Nice save there. One second left on the clock to return to the track, and I managed to do it. So some of the environment you can uh, knock over like all these posts and stuff. Some of the environment you can't knock over, like that um, road sign in Monaco that I smacked into. And now I'm just... Now I'm taking out a bit too much stuff. Should probably try and keep it on the track. Road. And those trees are not going to be destructible, so if we could avoid crashing into those, that'd be very nice. Yeah, I've been buying too many games to actually um, let's play as I get them, especially since like I'm focusing on Dirt Showdown right now. But when I move on to uh, Season 2 of my channel, I guess, I'll make a video when that happens. Uh, I'm going to switch up the format a little, and then what I have planned for Season 3 of the channel will like uh, advance it a little bit further. Uh, to the point where I've got like four Let's Plays going on at the same time, which I don't know actually right now if I'm going to have time for, but by the time uh, it actually rolls around, I should definitely be able to uh, sit down and do that. So I'm going to focus on only like one or two things at a time until my uh, exams are out the way. And then um, you'll move up from there. Of course, I could just do what I already sort of do with Dirt Showdown. And Christ, more auto spin barriers. Uh, and get weeks and weeks ahead of schedule and everything, so I've got time to uh, do the stuff I should be doing. But I'm not sure how that's going to work for multiple games. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll be able to make it work. I always, I always find a way. Things always tend to work out for me. So it shouldn't be a, too big of an issue. But I'll cross that route when I come to. Meanwhile, we are dominating the competition in the early stages, just like at Monaco. We're probably going to fall off at the end. Uh, in the last 
couple of stages, but if we can build up a big enough lead, then we should be just fine. That is not the way to be building up a lead. That's actually the way to lose the lead, is to uh, crash into the trees. Oh, hey, look, a bridge. I guess we crossed that bridge when we came to it, am I right? Eh? Eh? That was a, that was a good one. Laugh, please. I'd, I'd appreciate it. It was a bit of a long stage, innit? I don't know how long the longest stage was at uh, Monaco. We've already done four minutes of this, and there's still two sectors to go. Now, no, I'm going to turn this to the track. Give me a second. Kind of difficult when there's no grip at all. I think it gets worse in one of the uh, later stages where I'm pretty sure like most of the stage is just on a frozen lake, which is interesting to try and deal with. Ugh, sorry, apparently there's still a brown flake hanging around in the float, 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 float. catch that, like how the pros do it, not drift around the corner, just like fly off and then drive back on, that's how it's supposed to be done, right? If I could hear my um, co-driver, she'd probably have warned, probably have warned me about those uh, logs on the inside of that corner, but I didn't see until the last minute. But I've got no set up for hearing PS2 games, unless you want to hear an echo, which I, I doubt anyone wants to hear. I was watching some kid play uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, and there was a pretty bad echo in it. Kind of maybe not want to carry on watching that, let's go, to be honest. Maybe someday I'll, I'll one-up it and make my home. But, um, probably not, because I've never actually seen uh, a copy of the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift for sale anyway. I didn't even know it was a game until recently. So. It looks pretty okay though. But I reckon like Tokyo Extreme Racer would probably be better. Which is also a game that I've never seen a copy of for sale. Although I've only been looking in the uh, PS2 section and at original Xbox section, even though it's Kaido Racer isn't for sale on original Xbox. But, you know, I've only been looking around the uh, really old game sections kind of uh, over the last week or two. Before that, it was Xbox 360 only. Don't need to say. Speaking of uh, buying games too fast to actually play them, I bought two games that I'm planning on let's playing in the future, and I haven't touched them. We'll repair the brakes, body, what was the other thing that was broken? Tires. Easily got it done in time. Man, all these snow stages remind me of uh, the first, th I think the first snow stage you see on um. Mobile One Rally Championship, and visibility is going to be fantastic. Great. Um, like, I'm fairly certain, like, there's a sort of gravel stage and then a snow stage with no um, stop in between, so you can't change tires. So I put on gravel tires because I didn't. I only looked at what the next stage was and not the stage after it. So when I got to the snow, it was undrivable. 
but I reckon if I'd have put snow tires on, they'd have eaten themselves on the gravel and then been useless in the snow anyway. So. I'm not sure what the correct course of action would be uh, for that situation, but good job driving straight into a tree. At some point, I am going to play Mobile One Rally Championship. I don't know when, but I would. And, um, probably get to that stage and make a very similar error. Whoa, what happened there? Why did it just drive off to the... Okay. Nice to know that this I can knock the signs over, but not a small shrub. I actually am genuinely struggling to see what's coming up next. And considering I was al already struggling with keeping the car on the track earlier on, it's um... Come on, reset me please. Hey! Reset car. Penalty! Oh, Christ. I've never had to reset the car before, so usually it auto resets because like I just fly off the cliff at Monaco and it sorts itself out. So I didn't know there was a penalty involved. I've lost it I lost enough time. Why should I get a penalty? I guess like I've got to simulate the uh, time it takes for the crowd to push the car back into its wheels. Because that's what they do at rallies. Of course. The co-driver could probably have warned me about that jump if I could hear him. Which is one of the reasons I'm not going to buy a Dirt Rally. Or Dirt 4. For probably a while. Although Dirt 4 is not out yet, so it doesn't count. Um, is that I can't... The only uh, console I have a set up I could hear were, is my 360. So I've got to buy a, an actual headset for my one, which I still haven't done, even though I've owned it for like over a year, I think. Just got plenty of things to spend my money on, you know. One. The car turns and it's clearly turned and it just keeps going straight on. And I know that's because it's got no grip, but I'm still going to win. Maybe I should be braking a bit more. Well, that was my other plan was turning a bit more, and we all saw how well that went, so. I guess braking a bit more it is. And there's it. So we came, still won that rally, don't know why they're disappointed. Although we did pick up like two penalties, so. Oh, second. After the stage. Still first overall. I'm stage four. And it's night time. But luckily, the snow is gone. So we might actually be able to see with this one, especially with how bright the headlights are. It's like I've got the sun attached to the front of my car. But it doesn't help when the headlights aren't actually pointing forwards. Here we go, now I'm learning. Break before the jumps. 
because you can't turn when the wheels rest around. You're not playing F0. So I've never actually played. Although breaking before the jumps like that is costing me time. So I've got to make up for it. I think the most F-Zero-like game I've played would be Hot Wheels World Race. Which I've actually almost finished now. Like, I've unlocked the uh, Elite League. Just need to play it. But I don't know what else there is to do in that game after that. Christ, we are losing all of the time that we could possibly lose. I don't know how we're going to pull this thing back. We're 8 seconds down. And the car just won't stay on the road. Look, I can stay on the road, or I can go fast, but I cannot do both. And even going slow... ...is not working out. This is ridiculous. I'm struggling, I'm struggling and I'm not enjoying myself. The only thing that I need to remember is that I'm 37 seconds ahead overall as the next guy, so I just need to keep above that and we should be fine. So I don't fall more than 37 seconds behind the leader. don't do that, the rally is off. Also, I think we're gaining time back. We're back up to 5th, rather than 19th. It is a bit dark, isn't it? Job done. Kept it above. You can probably hear all of the controller vibrations, which is more than likely a bit annoying. So, uh... I've lost six seconds. But we're not last, so it's fine. I mean, we're not losing any places. We've still got 30 seconds uh, to lose. Brakes, body, and tyres again. Just to fix. I should probably check that I'm on the spiky snow tyres, but... I probably am. This stage looks a little bit less wiggly, which... Uh, could help me out. Also, it's not dark and it's not snow, so potentially we could get back on form for the uh, end of this rally. Although I'm not entirely sure this is the last. Uh, day of it. The track map didn't say nothing about all these sharp turns. All the turns in the track map were long and smooth. Oh well, leading the rally. Back on form. Probably just jinxed myself. Right 
So the control is going to be like this for the uh, rallies on rougher surfaces. Like the Rally Corsica and the Rally Spain should, uh, should be a bit less vibrated because they're on tarmac, but the uh, Safari Rally is not going to be nice to listen to because all you're going to be able to hear is this, but worse. Well, the track map completely lied to us. So. I think I've actually figured out how to drive in the snow now. I haven't gone off track for a little while. There we go. I think doubling the size of our lead was that stage. Just because I, uh... I got the technique down. Of course, the AI is not putting up too much of a challenge. They are... I'm fairly certain on the hardest difficulty. If you'll believe that. Sorry, I just gotta make sure my phone stays on. Those uh, thumps are sometimes necessary. Well, no, they're not. I could like just lightly tap it. But when I'm in the middle of a rally, I gotta be quick. So, no time for the more measured approach. That's why I crash all the time. Nice wall tap on the uh, guardrail a second ago there. My audio probably sounds more out of sync than usual because I'm commenting on things that happened a while ago. That's because I'm doing that on purpose, more or less. But I'm, not, I'm not necessarily doing the commentary late, another nice wall tap. I'm just not doing it instantly. So that's my excuse for if the uh, commentary on this seems a little bit off. I'll do my best. I, as usual, I do my best to sync it up. It doesn't like being synced, especially not on the games that take up more memory to record, like on Dirt Showdown and stuff. So I'll have to turn down the quality to record those uh, for the next time I have a session of that. Not 
too big of a deal. I'll just blame it on the YouTube compression. <laughs> Which is actually not so good. Now that I've started making videos, it sucks. Well, I mean, maybe I only noticed it because, like, I compared the uh, raw recorded file with uh, what I actually uploaded of one of my Dirt Showdown videos. And it didn't look as good. That was a much closer rally. There was only like 10 seconds in that one. Of course, between the AI, there was only one second, so. Oh well. In uh, Colin McRae's Dirt, the first one, uh, Pro Am makes you win by 10 seconds, but uh, Pro makes you lose by 10 seconds. So, obviously. Pro Am is the way to go. Anyway, that was the end of the Rally Sweden. I'll make sure to uh, sort out the saves for next time. We'll find out what the uh, next rally is. These, these points kind of don't matter because this wasn't uh, an actual championship round. But we got all the we got all the stuff sorted out. And, uh, Yep, we're first in this mini championship we did, that doesn't count. Uh, yeah, we'll save the archives. That's uh, just stage times and stuff. The next rally, after I sort everything out, will be... Uh, we're done Sweden. It will be uh, Rally Corsica. The rally of a thousand turns, I think. And then Spain, Cyprus, Argentina, Greece, Kenya. That's going to be a great one. Uh, Finland, Germany, at least. Yeah, yeah, web. Anyway, that was it for um, round two of WRC2 Extreme. Uh, I'm not going to do it now, but I'll get on to actually getting it up to date in WRC mode. And then, yeah, I'll sort that out. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, and goodbye.